I mean, after we get a turn, man, it seems like we've got some controversy on the channel. Yeah, we do. We <laughs> so, something's going on. So for some context, you're 18, right? And you're just starting yeah. uni and all that. Yeah, I'm 18, just starting uni. How's that, you know, with balance and music and stuff? Last couple of years, just with like the finals and stuff, you know, my parents were always on me, like saying like, oh, you gotta study mm. and stuff. You know, after school, just straight home making beats. I hear that, yeah. Do you want to let everyone know what you're gonna talk about? So I started working with Famous Dex earlier last year. I was like looking through his story checking all through his following and stuff. Just trying to like make connections to try and get my beats to him, get some placements. And then one day I saw he posted on his story, best engineer ever, I mean tag, his engineer. So hit his engineer off. All the big producers, they'll tell you that when you want to work with somebody, you got to add value to them. Really give them some sort of a benefit in working with you. I hit up his engineer, I'm like, how can I help you bro? From there, he was like, we are trying to learn how to operate beat stars, sell beats and stuff. And that was something that I was doing a little bit at the time. I helped him out with that. Eventually, he became my manager and that's how me and Dex started working together. Oh, sweet. So this is just straight yeah. with engineer. I guess yeah. it was because you got some songs with Dex. Yeah. Did you get signed after that or was it like before you got any songs? Um, he offered to sign me. I think it was more of a show of like if I was faithful or not. A bit weird. So he just asked for my name and my number and stuff. I just went from there. I've been texting him beats to his number. Do you feel like texting beats straight to a number is better than doing it to like email or like engineer? Or yeah. There's sure. a couple of artists that I'm working with directly and I think that should be the goal for every producer to get like a one-on-one -on -one connection with the artist. You know, some artists that's really difficult. It won't be easy easy at all to get a direct connection to somebody like Future, Lil Baby, somebody like that. But you think of Famous Dex, for example, like that's pretty achievable one-on-one -on -one connection to have. And I have one-on-one -on -one connections with other artists like Dead Schlur, Phil Blanc, for example. I think definitely texting beats is definitely the way to go. Lots of people, they just send beats randomly to a bunch of emails they have sitting on their laptop. It doesn't really do too much to have the one-on-one -on -one connection. So, so did you ever go ahead with the Famous Dex stuff? Like, did you ever sign in the end? Or? I didn't sign anything with him. He never sent me a contract or anything. But I think even if he did, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. do that. <laughs> no, 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 I hear that. It seemed like he was almost confronting you to a point where... Yeah, like... I think he looked at my page wanting to sign me. It's a lot of Dex placements. I have at least 50, 60 songs with him at this point. That's um, crazy. So I, think, I think from that, he wanted to sign me. But then, so I already have a manager. He was a bit but hurt about that. He wasn't liking that one. He's going to make yeah. some beats or something like that. Sure. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. What type Let's... of style do you want to do? I've actually been contemplating this for the last week. What style we're going to do? Okay. I mean, do you have any in mind? I know, I know your your specialty is dark, so we can do that. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. That's really cool. Then she's gonna switch that. That's pretty hard. Like a little phrase in this movie. Put a little like piano underneath that, but yeah, yeah like a little vibe like that. What do you say about that so far? Yeah, dude, it's good. Sweet. You can send like half the loop to you if you want, and you can just uh, build into that if you want to do that. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll probably just add this piano, and I can just send it to you. And Yeah, I'm just gonna mix this and I'll just send this to you. All right. So let's say you kind of start from nothing again. What would be your first way into the industry? Like, what do you think would be the best way to get into the industry in 2024? First thing I would do is I would perfect my craft. I think a lot of people don't focus on that enough. A lot of people start and immediately they start posting, promoting, doing all of this stuff. If you get people's attention now, then later on when you try and get their attention, they're not gonna listen to you. They're not gonna give you a chance. 
So mm. first you got to perfect your craft and find your sound so people can respect you and what you have to offer. Also, I would think about what your goal is with music. I know some people, even some of my producer friends, they've quit making music altogether because their goals weren't aligned with what they were doing. They were trying to make money out of it. So yeah. you need to really like understand what your goals are and everything that you do in music has to be towards that. So for example, at the moment, I'm trying to be like Alice Lost. I'm trying to get that mm -hmm. Nardo Wick placement. Everything I'm doing is to try and get that Nardo placement. Do you not feel like you could do um, a similar way to what you did with Famous Dex with the whole engineer route? Yeah, Nardo's engineer. He doesn't respond to my DMs. I'm working with Trademark a lot. Oh yeah. Hopefully we'll get that soon. With artists, there's always people around them that are like more accessible. You just have to kind of find those people. 100%. Um, and I guess with the Famous Dex thing, as you said, you found it just from a, a story post, right? Yeah. But like, if that wasn't the case, how would you find these people? Like, what would be your kind of strategy to... Um, um, so as I said, like what the, the main process is, is first of all, if they're following quite a number of people, it would be best to look at who, who they're following, like see who they're around, you know, just like I did, like looking at their story, look at who they're following, just see who they're friends with, who are in their circle. Because okay. if you think about it, if you have some random email from them, for example, like let's say they post an email on their story, they're going to get thousands and thousands of beats flooded in there. If you think about it differently, if you have one of your friends or like some connect that you have who's in the room with them, it's a lot easier to get stuff placed because they trust them. You can get your beats played first. That would definitely be the way to go about it. It's a lot easier to get stuff placed when you've got somebody in the room. Some sauce there. Actually, just to add to that, what would be your dream placement? I'll probably probably Playboy Cardi. That's probably my dream placement. Every time I've had people on there, it's always just been future. So I, I was about future. to say, I was like, you can't say future. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Cardi's a new one. I haven't had that one yet. Cardi's the dream one.